What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are continuing right back from the last episode of Omori. Basically what I was able to find out here in what looks like to be the real world is holy shit this house is run down as fuck. No, 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 that's nothing. What what we found out was that one, like I said before, this seems to be like a real world-esque kind of scenario. And it seems like Kel is really the only person who I have left over here in this town. I guess Basil as well, but... Hey! We found Basil! It's been who knows how many episodes since episode 2, but we finally found Basil! I forgot to mention it! Or of course, not in, the, not in the place we thought we would find him, but... You know, at least we did find him in the end. Anyways, it seems that... Hero's in college and isn't here in the suburbs just yet. He will be in the coming few days and apparently we have three days left until until we move out to the big city. Sonny apparently has been locked up in his in his um in his bedroom for like I think they said three or four years. I could be capping, it could be months, but I believe they did say years, implying that it's been a really long time. Since Sunny has actually left his house. But Kel's still here, even after all this time. But Aubrey hasn't, unfortunately. Her new group of friends don't seem that great. So who the hell is over here? Why is this tree moving? What the fuck? Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh, wait. I know, you. your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie. I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Okay... Ooh, what? Uh, where not? What'd you do that for? Ah! Uh, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy, we're the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel! Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom! Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting! I will tell you what I know, but first, you must pass me in battle! Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on! Let's sick him, Charlie. Charlie, no. Charlie, no. Charlie, no. Charlie. It's wait a minute. I feel like who the. Who are these guys supposed to be? Don't tell me... Okay, this can't be Burly and Van, right? Because there's no way Charlie's boss. Uh... Guess I'm just gonna have to encourage Sunny. Please don't die, kill. No! Kill! Alright, alright, alright. Whatever you do, whatever you do. Oh! <laughs> Oh, take that basketball to the face. Okay, Kel, please. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> you surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Alright. I'm not gonna attack Sun. Not gonna attack Charlie. Not gonna attack Charlie. No, Kel, please. Okay, not gonna attack Charlie. Not gonna attack Charlie. <laughs> you, you pay for this. Loser! Loser! How could this be? My training was all for nothing! Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully! <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. Well? The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. No shit, dumbass. 
Probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else! I told you I'd tell you what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything! Angel! You better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. <laughs> what? You can't do that! That's cheating! Anyway, I really don't know. Uh, maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid Michael? Don't you dare call him by that name. You will take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. Where can I find Mike? I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to find me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you- Go! Ah! Okay, fine. I'll talk. Uh, Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some girl there for uh, a date or something. Uh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Oh, my lord. What is going on? Wh where? What is this context that I've been missing here this entire time? Also, the more I think about it, the more I should have just given her trash one by one, so that way I would have cheesed my way and grabbed all the $4 bills and on the man. Also, it might genuinely be in my best interest to... <laughs> might genuinely be in my best interest to go back to the plaza just to get, uh... Go back to the other mart. Other... Other mart! There we go, finally! And pharmacy? Pharmacy? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, cause there's no way I'm gonna keep- there's no way I can continue this without Kel taking a beating. So, my good man, I ask for your finest first aid kits! Thank you very much! Oh my god, I just realized his bandages were $1 for 50 HP. I'm a dumbass! A first aid kit is 150 HP for $5 for a bandage? Really? All right, Maverick. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's THE Maverick. Oh, the Maverick. You're so funny. Oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. Michael, what are you doing? Ah. Uh, if it isn't Kel. My arch nemesis! Finally, here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Michael. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Uh, stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Michael, do you know where she is or not? Again, with that godforsaken name! Uh, how dare you make a fool out of me! I, the Maverick, will not stand for this! Prepare to face your doom! Watch this, ladies! I'll wipe the floor with this loser! Please, Michael, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you what? Don't be a chicken! Ugh, are you really going to do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny, let's take him down. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You didn't stand a chance against the Maverick. Alright, not gonna lie, Maverick, you are going down big time. Alright, just just give me just give me a bit of time to sauce up. Alright, you know what to do, Kel. Let's go! <laughs> Basketball to the gut, to the jugular, to the liver. Uh-oh. Oh wait, no, that's Kel who's angry. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Loser! Come on, Kel. Come on, we're not gonna lose to this chump, are we? <laughs> As expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. <laughs> Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold! My final form! Uh, I don't think he's doing so hot right now. I bet you're regretting your decision now. 
I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. <laughs> As he says, gasping for air, it's only uh, a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Uh, no, it isn't, buddy. What? Come on, Kel. We're not going to take that from him. Uh, I'll admit, I'm impressed. But you're still light years away from defeating me. Ugh. Ugh. No. This is impossible. Improbable. Absolutely inconceivable. Uh, you're toast. Hey! Alright, you're toast. Ugh. 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 No. I won't let it end like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength! Hey! Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. <laughs> don't, don't tell me he, either he paid them $10. Yeah, no, they're... Yeah, there's no way, there's no way this man actually wanted to pay them $10. Ladies, uh, please come back. I have more money. Yeah, he tried to buy them off, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> it's a wig as well. <laughs> Michael, there, there's no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in life. Just tell us where Aubrey is, and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maver- Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so... I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Ladies, hello. Wow, that boy with the blonde wig is so cool. I wish I had his confidence. He does not have confidence. That's the joke. All right, candy, you say? Twenty dollars. I have left. I'm a fucking idiot for not buying this earlier. Five. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Pocket, 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 toys. Uh, bandage on Cal. Yeah, just use a bandage for now. I don't need the first, the first aid help, the first aid kits just now. Come on, Aubrey. Give me the photo album. Oh wait, no, no, no. It's Kim and Vance. They said Kim and Vance would be here. Hmm. No one, Kim and Vance. They're probably somewhere around here. Oh, they're right there, my buddy, my buddy, old pal. Oh hey! There she is! Hurry, Vance! Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us! Hey, Kim! Have you seen Aubrey any- Shoot! It's that nerd Kel! Come on, Vance! We gotta go! And yeah, now he's like, hold it! Hold it, buddy! Whoa! Hold on there! I don't think you paid for those! Get out of the way, nerd! You don't know me! Hey, hey, hold on! I'm not here to snitch! We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is. Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never to come back here again! Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy! Don't make me call the cops on you kids! Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine! Here's your stupid candy! Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Vance, 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 no! Ha ha ha! Serves you right! Wait. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just like that. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? Ah, come on, Sonny, let's follow them. Yeah, they couldn't. They couldn't have gone far. Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. Oh, you're gonna use it as bait. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Are you gonna? Are, are we using this as bait, or are we gonna blackmail them with candy? All right, where the hell did they go? They're right there. Come on, let's book it. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <sighs> let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. All right, the deal is sentry. Wait, Kim, I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. R really? The whole bag? I, I mean, wait, you can't buy us off with candy. Who do you think you do you take us for? I, I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week, and there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds! <laughs> Don't tell me you just backfired. Aw oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait! Please Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We... We even have taffy in here. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Did someone say to Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of Taffy and never talk to us ever again. Oh, wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But uh, I want to fight. Come on. Put him up, you two! It's time to duke it out! Ah, what is with, what is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. God, I feel bad for Sonny. I'll, sh I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. I don't know why it's taking me this long to figure it out, but... Burly and Kim, both females, both relatively small, both have a knack for being strong despite their size, you'll soon see Kim in action in a second, both have a bigger sidekick with them at all times, both have a natural hostile attitude, and both typically talk with Aubrey. Van and Vance, both males, both relatively big, both can take a beating probably due to their size, you'll soon see Vance in a second, both are the sidekick to a smaller yet equally as strong female, both have a natural, passive, yes-man attitude, and both are into sweets. Just look at the back of Vance's sprite and Vance's behaviors towards sweets. Not to mention that, from a far distance, they practically mirror one another. So, once again, I have managed to crack the Da Vinci Code by myself. Let's fucking go. Alright, Kel, you know the drill. Some words of encouragement. Oh, shit! No! Come on now! Don't attack poor Kel! Just attack him. Your face annoys me! Shit, 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 shit. Why is it- I just- I just had a revelation. Why- why are they all going after Kel? I know Kel is like the big talker or whatnot, but still. Alright, come on, come on now, come on now. You just need to keep attacking. I'm so happy that no one has decided to fight Sunny yet. You're, you're still nerds! She's down! She's down! Loser! Loser! Alright, Vance. You're down as well. 
You're toast. Where's the follow up? Oh my god, just as soon as I said, as soon as I said, known as attacked Sunny, Manny immediately decides to attack Sunny. You bitch! Ouch, that hurts. No one, and I mean, no one attacks the boy Sunny. Oh my god, poor Kel. Dang! All I wanted was some taffy. Alright, come on. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. And Mom is gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait! Where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't know, do you? Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asked who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Michael or something. Come on, Kim. We gotta scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds! Wait, they didn't even get the big bag of candy, did they? Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. At least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Alright. To the church we go! I'm just gonna assume the church is this way because I don't know where this place is. Space Bunny! Never mind, no Space Bunny at all. Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard earned money when I looked down and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing! Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole open in my plastic bag. Oh, how silly I felt just then. You think you can help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Uh, sure. I'll help you find your garden shears. You mean these? Alright, lady. Can you give me some money? Some dinero? There you go. Ah, uh, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Please feel free to come to my house anytime. You will always be welcome. Always, you say? I'll take you up on that offer, lady. Alright, unfortunately that lady didn't really have anything for me in there. She is the mother of Kim and Vance though. I was able to actually find a photo of Kim and Aubrey, which I guess good friends, I suppose. But yeah, I guess this is the way to the church now, is it not? Never mind, there's some construction going on. Some things just never change, do they? What's up? Cough, cough. Excuse me. Sorry to impose you, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you could help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would you be so kind as to pick it up for me? Thank you, children. Just talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to visit the church later. I need to help pick up somebody's uh, prescriptions. So I will be right back. Alright, buddy. Hmm, hello. How can I help you? There's your prescription and ID card. Ah, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. Alright, bucko. I need a quick and step. Thank you very much. You're picking up her medicine in place of her daughter today. I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You can have a nice day. If you ever need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. Really? Never mind. Wait a minute. 
Let's see if I... If I have one. No, no, he does not. He does not. He, in fact, does not have me covered at all. He does not have me covered at all. Oh, buddy, that is not what, that is, that is not what it means when to say I have you covered. Because it doesn't. It doesn't. If you're going to tell me I got you covered, that means you're going to give it to me for free, buddy. Trust me, I know this lingo. I'm hip with the kids today. I'm hip with the kids these days, you know? All right, Granny, here's your medication. Oh, you came back! There you go. Cough, cough. Excuse me. Thank you so much. You have been a big help. It's nice to see the hel the youth helping us old folks. You're all welcome to my home anytime. Anytime, you say? I will take you up on that offer, Granny. What do you have going on around here? All right, there wasn't actually... There's less... There's less stuff in there for me than there was in the other house. But what I did manage to find was a bag of trash. So I'm going to have to go back to the park and get in exchange for that. Four dollars, which means four bandages that I could give to Kel. Never mind, not four dollars. One dollar. Thanks a lot, lady. Oh my god. One fucking dollar. Well, at least I have my perfect 15 there now. Oh, uh, I just accidentally pressed on the house. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? No? Really? Hmm, I don't know. It looks a little stiff. Look at this sketch for me. Alright, what if I say yes? Thanks, I thought so too. It's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh! Whoa. And voila! It looks so much better. Can I see it? Can I poke you for a minute? I feel like this piece is missing something. Maybe the character needs a little bit more detail. And I could add some detail right here and here and here. That would work, wouldn't it? Of course. It's so obvious, don't you think? It's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh! And voila! Anything more? <laughs> Anything more? About the... Should I make the color background red or blue? Wait, don't answer. It'll definitely look better with a ba red background, right? I completely agree! Red is undoubtedly the right choice here! It's all coming to me now! Inspiration of Striketh! Can I see it? Can I please see it? I'm... I want to see it! You said it was finished, wasn't it? Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief, right now. I have no fucking clue where the church is. I feel like I've gone everywhere, but it seems like seems like I'm going to all the wrong through all the wrong places. Oh, there it is. Who are you guys? Who are you? I didn't even see who you were. I mean, I kind of did, but I, I couldn't tell. More. Come on, how can I not pick up the trash? God damn it. Alright. Ah, oh, the church. Of course. Aubrey's old blue bike. Come on. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there, all normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. All right. Well, what do you want me to do now? Well, how do you want me to wait for the sermon to be over? I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm in the house of God. Shit, shit, shit. Whoa, 
I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Okay. Fuck. 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 What am I supposed to do? I'm in the presence of God. Come on. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Okay. Thank you for telling me to walk to the pew behind her. Sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Sonny! Motherfucker! Okay. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey! What the... What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel, exactly. We used to be friends. Emphasis on the used. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. Eh, really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? You should not yell at the church. You should not yell at the church. I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. God damn it, why is there a car? Why is there a car beeping right now? <laughs> Okay, just need to wait for that to uh, stop over. Because goddamn, who the fool? Who just leaves their beeper on like that? Okay, whatever. So that's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important this photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you could just barge into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive! You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Hmm. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? No, buddy, buddy! No, 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 You can't just drop I'm sorry on that, okay? I'm the type of person who actually... I, I can understand what Aubrey's feeling right now. You just... You can't just go into somebody like that four years later on and just be like, Okay, I'm sorry. And just think everything's all hunky-dory. You don't say I'm sorry for a solution. No, you say I'm sorry when you actually feel sorry. That's the one that's the one thing. That's why if I don't feel sorry, I'm not going to say I'm sorry because that would just be dishonest of me. And I'm not going to be here being like, "Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not." Because that's not how I'm feeling. I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. And no, she's not feeling it either. She's not feeling it either. No. I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief! What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully? Now she's stealing as well? Oops. Uh-oh. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. 
Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with a psychopath who carries around a knife! Now is not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first! Oh, come on. Why, why do you gotta do this? Why? Holy shite! Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Uh, Snack, no, toy, yes. First aid kit on Kel. Oh shit. Is Kel supposed to die? I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Uh come on, Kel, don't die here. Shite, shite, shite. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. You're telling me! Alright, come on, Kel. I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die here. Why are you here? Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? Look, Aubrey, please! Come on! Yeah. That girl's a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Look, Aubrey, whatever happened, please let it go! Shit! 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 I always thought she would be trouble. The pastor should have kicked her out a long time ago. No! No! Oh no! Why? Why now? Children these days have no respect. I hope my kids don't turn out like her. Fuck no! Uh, please? Come on, Sonny. Don't kill me. Fuck. I can't, I can't keep, I can't keep calming down. Fuck. Please. Aubrey. Please. I I'm just gonna have to wing it. No. Huh. Serves you right, Kel. Now. Leave me alone. Ah, ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Aubrey? Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh no. Pastor, please forgive me. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting it fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I've tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me er bad things. Seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. Pastor, please. Look, I'm an atheist, okay? I'm just gonna put that right over there. I'm an atheist. But this is like one of the few times where like a pastor or just somebody who like, I don't wanna say has the moral high ground, but just like someone who like, you know you can trust. Because I understand that some people may not like the church and here and there but of the few pastors and of the few like really religious and holy people that i've met even if they're not christian like muslims for example i've had a few muslim friends like the holy people like i always felt like i could kind of go up to them and just ask them for like you know this kind of like moral advice or whatnot but please pastor if you can just tell aubrey tell aubrey that we don't mean any trouble. And I think I'm going to leave it off for here. 
So if you like the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully we can get Aubrey in the next episode. Hopefully we can get her to come to her senses. But for now, my name is Pixel Love. I'm Mentor Mori and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.